Hello guys, Zabanya speaking and this video is going to be different from my previous videos as my previous videos are all about Hankai Impact 3rd and FR Legends this one's something that I really want to make a video about pull up a chair, grab some popcorn, let's talk about the Nakano Quintuplex Quintessential Quintuplets, also known as Gotobu no Hanayome, is one of the latest anime series this season. It's a romantic comedy anime that caught my attention because I'm seeing a bunch of people posting here and there a picture of a cute anime girl who always wear a pair of blue headphones on her neck. After getting the sauce from one of my friends, I started watching the anime and at the same time, I took a small peek on the manga. I won't talk about the story in this video because the main focus here is the girls themselves, not the story as a whole as, and as much as I want, I don't want to give some spoilers here. So let's start with the first Nakano girl that the protagonist Futaro Uesugi met, Itsuki. So my first impression about her based on how I see the first episode, she is this typical rich kid Alice's who does not want to be with the common folk. I myself personally have met this kind of girls during my elementary school days and they are annoying as heck, really. So at the back of my mind, Itsuki would be indeed hard to deal with during the course of the story. So next Nakano girl that interacted with Futaro is Ichika. I personally like her right off the bat because number one, her hair is short because Personally, I like women with short hair. And number two, she's giving out these Onesan, aka Big Sister vibes, and I prefer Onesans over Emotos. So next up is my other personal favorite right off the bat, Yotsuba. The moment I heard Ayane Sakura's voice, she became my instant favorite. Combined with Ayaneru's voice with her typical Genki girl personality, it's a sweet cocktail of fluffiness and cuteness. So I definitely invest myself with Yotsuba. Next up is the main reason why I got interested in this show, Miku, aka the headphones girl. So she is this quiet, soft-spoken type which makes me think, is she a geek or something just like me or what? But that headphones on her neck is really cool and that thing sets her apart from her sisters and I personally like her usual outfit. And last but the worst. Yeah, 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 I know she is waifu material too on paper, but come on. The last Nakano girl Futaro met is Nino. When it comes to bitchiness, she feels worse than Itsuki, making Itsuki the better waifu material than Nino. She would be the hardest to deal with among the Nakano sisters. So I'm a bit eh on Nino unless she changes her attitude towards Futaro. So overall, I'm placing my bets on Miku, Yotsuba, and Ichika. Miku with her soft-spoken way of speaking, giving up an air of gentleness. Yotsuba with her Genki girl personality, with Ayaneru's voice mixed into the cocktail, for some cluffiness and sweetness. And Ichika being the Onesan. It's pretty hard to choose between these three to be honest. How about you guys? Which of the Nakano girls is your waifu? Let me know down in the comment section. One final note, please subscribe to PewDiePie. And this is where I wrap up my first episode of Waifu Talk, the Nakano Quintuplets. Zabanya out.